Welcome to our first example in electricity and magnetism and we're going to start with Coulomb's law. So three charges, Q1 1 microcoulomb, Q2 negative 2 microcoulomb, and Q3 3 microcoulombs are held on a horizontal plane. Q1 is at minus 1 3 centimeters, Q2 is at the origin, and Q3 is at 2 1 centimeter. So those, of course, represent the coordinates at which we have to place the point charges. Find the net force that Q1 and Q3 exert on Q1. So the first thing we do is draw a diagram with Q1 and Q2 and Q3 in the correct positions. And we also want to draw the forces that 3 exerts on 1 and that 2 exerts on 1. So 1 and 3 are positive, they repel each other, and 1 and 2, well 1's positive, 2's negative, so there's an attraction. First we calculate the magnitude of the force that 3 exerts on 1. So the formula for Coulomb's law is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q3 q1 over r13 squared. 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught of course is the constant, 9 times 10 to the 9. Q 1 and q3 are 1 10 to the negative 6 and 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs and the distance between 1 and 3 is 3 centimeters across and 2 centimeters up so r13 squared is 0 0.03 squared plus 0 0.02 squared so the magnitude of our first vector is 20.8 newtons to calculate the direction of the vector, it's useful to draw the diagram again. So I've redrawn Q3 and Q1 and the 2 centimeters up and the 3 centimeters across. The direction of the force that 3 exerts on 1 is going to be the angle theta that I've tried to draw in bold. So that's going to be 90 degrees plus the angle phi that's on the diagram. And the way we get phi is with the inverse tangent of 0 0.03 over 0 0.02. So remember, opposite side over adjacent side. That angle is 146.3 degrees. The next thing we are going to do is calculate the magnitude of the force that Q2 exerts on Q1. And I just want you to notice that from Q2 to Q1, it's 3 centimeters up and 1 across. So the magnitude of the force that 2 exerts on 1 is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 Q1 over R12 squared. That's 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 1 microcoulomb multiplied by 2 microcoulombs and divided by 0 0.01 squared plus 0 0.03 squared and that is a force of 18 newtons. You might be worried that I didn't take into account the signs of the charges when I calculated the forces. Well remember I just calculated the magnitude of the forces and I did take the signs of the charges into account when I drew my picture and the signs of the charges are going to have a great effect on the direction of the force which is our next step. To find the direction of the force that 2 exerts on 1, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to draw the force on 1, pointing towards 2, and that force is going to be a negative angle if I start from the positive x-axis. The opposite side is going to be 0, 0, 3, and the adjacent side is going to be 0, 0.01. So I just take the inverse 10 and get my angle of negative 71.6 degrees. To get the net force in the x direction, we need to add the x component of the force at 3 exerts on 1 and the x component of the force at 2 exerts on 1. So 20.8 cos 146.3, that's our first x component, and add our other x component 18 cos of negative 71.6. So the net x component of the force is negative 11.6 newtons. The net y component of the force is 20.8 sine of 146.3 plus 18 sine negative 71.6. 
and that is a total of negative 5.5 newtons. We've got our components. Now we need our magnitude and our direction. Always, always, always redraw your new vector when you're figuring out the magnitude and the direction. So we've got 11.6 newtons left, 5.5 newtons down. That's the picture that I've shown you. The magnitude is just the Pythagorean theorem. Square root 11.6 squared plus 5.5 squared. And the magnitude of the net force is 12.8 newtons. Since it's in the third quadrant, the direction will be 180 degrees plus the inverse tan of 5.5, which is our opposite side, over 11.6, which is the adjacent side. And that's a total of 205 degrees. And that's the answer, 12.8 newtons at 205 degrees. And here's the legal stuff. Feel free to share and remix the joy of physics with us.